sound quality is going to be like up here. If it's no good, I'll just film in the room. But yeah, this is the start of the new daily videos again. I've been away for a long time, as you can see, my hair has grown substantially since the last video. Um, so, a few things. Firstly, obviously, I'm in Asia right now, I'm in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, and uh, Saigon. Um, I'm here for about uh, a month or so. After that, I'm moving on to Thailand to uh, to Chiang Mai. Now, this trip has been a long time in the in the works. Like as you can say, I've been talking about this a lot in the Transcend Your Limits channel. Uh, I've been planning this for a while. I didn't realise I wasn't going to be on the internet. So obviously in Cambodia, I was stuck because I was there for a, you know a few weeks and I wasn't able to make any videos really. I was just able to film my travel vlogs and like save them for later. Um, I guess I could you know film the loose videos in advance and post them now, but I just I just didn't think it was worth it. I thought it would be better to just film them live when I'm actually in a place with good internet. So that being said, this is the start of the new videos. I'm going to try and film up here if the sound is good, just so that you guys have a better view. Um, I'll show you the view in a second in more detail. But really, I just wanted to, to get back into the habit of making a daily video, um, because that's something I was, I was really quite passionate about, and I, I really like sharing these things with you guys every single day. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about lucid dreaming without having to wake up. This is a really big thing for some of you. Um, now, for a lot of people, lucid dreaming with uh, you know most techniques, you have to actually you have to actually interrupt your sleep, wake up, and then lucid dream after going back to sleep. This is true with the wake wake to bed. This is true with uh, you know the wild to some degree. The, a very simple way of you know having a lucid dream using a mild technique. I'm not going to go into the, the full details of the technique. I just want to let you guys know that that is the best way to do it without having to wake up. Uh, the mild or the dialed, or a combination of both of them, right? You'll find that as you learn the techniques and, and ideas, as you meditate every day, as you do reality checks every day, eventually, eventually you're going to get to the point where you naturally will have a lucid dream. Ultimately, like in the long run, you want to move towards the techniques and methods which don't involve waking up first. Now, I know that's going to be a bit controversial, and a lot of uh, lucid dreamers are probably going to comment saying that's nonsense, but in my opinion, you shouldn't interrupt your sleep. You should have in, in order to have a healthy sleep pattern and a healthy sleep schedule, you should sleep solidly from the moment you wake, uh, from the moment you go to sleep to the moment you wake up. If you interrupt that after six or four hours, go back to sleep and then have an, like a segmented sleep, two two sections to your sleep, that's going to do damage to your well-being long term. However, what you can do instead is move towards the techniques which don't involve waking up first. The techniques like the wild, like the um, dialed and mild, which means that you can have a full relaxing, refreshing night's sleep and a lucid dream and you feel better for it. Um, and you know, this, so that's so that's a reason why you might want to do that. Another reason is it's just easier. You know, if you do this, if you practice the right things in the long term, you're gonna find it a lot easier to lucid dream naturally compared to doing the wake back to bed in the wild, which rely on like in the moment work. It's just a more hands-free Approach. You have to put in the work of doing the meditation, doing the reality checks, but then once you've done that, and once you've built up those skills, it becomes second nature and almost natural to you. Hopefully the sound quality is actually good enough to, to hear what I'm saying. It's quite windy up here, so if not, I'll just film in a room tomorrow, or I'll find a shadier, uh, sheltered area or something like that. Okay, see you tomorrow. Oh, here's the view, by the way.